Welcome to Visual Schedule Builder, a simple new tool to help you find your optimal schedule. This video will walk you through how to use this new system. Right now I'm logged in on the Visual Schedule Builder page. Logging into this tool requires using Passport York. Once logged in, you will be able to search, sort, and select your schedule, all right here on this single screen. Before you begin, please note that VSB does not register you in courses. It helps you to create an optimal course schedule, after which you will need to enroll in your courses through the Registration and Enrollment module. To get started, I'm going to choose my session first, here on the left, in this case, Fall Winter. Next, I'll click Select here to open up a list of campuses. All campuses are selected by default. The fastest way to choose your desired location is to click the Select None link, and then choose the campus options that you need. Now I can start choosing courses. In this search bar, I can search by course number, title, or instructor. The drop-down menu here will be in alphabetical order, starting with the faculty acronym. For example, ED for education, GS for graduate studies, or HH for health. I know that I need Biology 1, and I know my course number. I'm going to type the IOL 1000 into the search bar. And you can see that as I type, it automatically pulls up options for me. I choose my course, hit enter, and it loads below. I also know that I need Chem 1000, so I'm going to type that in, select add, and it loads below. As I add these courses, you see that they also automatically appear on the right-hand side of the screen, both as a list and in my schedule time grid. Once I've added all of my courses, I'll be able to see and sort all of my options right here and add or remove courses on the left in the search area. You can also see this yellow tip box, which will remain at the top of the screen throughout the process with helpful tips and reminders. I need biochemistry, but I can't remember the course number, so I'll type BIOL2 and see what options are offered to me. I can scroll down until I find my course, select it, and add. Finally, I need ethics, so I'm going to type in my course number, select it, and add. Looking at this list of courses that I'm interested in taking, I can see more information by using these three drop-down menus, terms, sections, and classes. I can also toggle classes on or off to see how they affect my schedule using this checkbox. And I can remove courses by clicking this X next to the course title. Now that I've entered in the courses that I want, I can shift my attention to the results panel here on the right, where I'm presented with all the schedule options that contain the courses I've selected. This time grid shows two terms, fall and winter. You can see here that I've come up with a total of 2,855 schedule results, which is of course way more than I need or have time to sort through. So I'm going to do some more filtering. I can add in some sort preferences and filters that will help me prioritize these schedules and zero in on one that actually meets my needs. The first thing I'll do is filter out the full sections and the online sections. Now I can input a sort preference using this drop-down menu. Let's say I like morning classes. The system now reorders these combinations, offering as many of my classes as possible in the morning. I can click the arrows at the top of the screen, or use the arrow keys on my keyboard to scroll through my schedule options. If I hold down the arrow keys, it will speed scroll through the different options, giving me a nice clear visual of where my classes might fall on the schedule. Or let's say that I have some really specific time constraints. I work on Monday and Wednesday mornings. So what I'm going to do is simply click and drag to block out those times. This will reprioritize the schedules around my personal time constraints. The system isn't going to actually take away the options that overlap my work schedule, just in case it turns out that I really need one. If we were to scroll to the very end of the results, we would see them again. So if I need to, I can really see all of my options and make an informed decision about what works for me. But what if I come up against a conflict in my schedule? For example, say I want to add this political science course. Oh, 
oh, all of a sudden I have no schedule results. Looking at my list of courses on the left, I can scroll down and find these alerts, which let me know that this course conflicts with my ethics course. Or, let's say I want to add another chemistry course. This warning pops up, letting me know that I've created too many schedule possibilities and need to narrow down my options. You can see over here in the results that I've generated over 50,000 options. In order to avoid either of these scenarios, it's wise to pin down the courses required for your major before adding other courses. I'm going to get rid of these time blocks. And instead, let's say I've decided that this specific section is the one that I want. I can click on this section and pin it down, either in my list of courses or right here on the time grid. Notice that when I pinned that section, the number of schedule results went down to 36. This is a much more manageable number. It's showing me only the options that include that specific section. So now when I sort through, the system will hold that class constant while sorting other combinations around it. I've decided that this schedule is the one that I want. Over here on the left-hand side, I can see all of the course catalog information, course codes, titles, seats available, professor, etc. And I can find a visual representation of my course start and end dates here at the bottom below the grid, so I can see what my session looks like. If I scroll all the way down to the bottom, here in my cart, you see a list of the catalog numbers for this schedule. You will need to copy these numbers one at a time into the Registration and Enrollment module to enroll in your chosen courses. It is recommended that you enroll as soon as you can after choosing your timetable, because while the information on whether or not a course is full updates all the time, it is possible that a course which was not full when you were creating your timetable in VSB might be fully enrolled by the time you go to the Registration and Enrollment module. If you choose not to enroll immediately, for example, if your enrollment window is not yet open, you can copy the URL at the top of your screen or bookmark it in your browser to email your schedule to your advisor or save it for later use. Pasting the URL into a web browser will display your schedule again. You may have to log into Passport York to see it again. So there we have it. That's Visual Schedule Builder, helping you find your optimal schedule quickly and easily.